Hey guys, this is Mel, and I'm here to talk about Arrow, episode 519, titled Dangerous Liaisons, which premiered Wednesday, April 26, 2017, on The CW. Guys, it's April 29th that I'm recording this on, um, so it's been a few days uh, to gather my thoughts, but let's start. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the episode already, go do so first, then come back and see what I have to say about, the next, about this episode. Otherwise, my other video reminders are up on screen. Give yourselves a moment to remind yourselves as it's been a few weeks since we've had a new episode. So with all that said and done, let's start the 10 minute clock and let's begin with what happened in this episode. So guys, timeline wise, it's been one week since uh, the previous episode, since 518, since the city um, discovered that Adrian Chase was actually Prometheus. So it's been a... Uh, a manhunt going on for the last week for them. Episode reminder is pretty much the fact that Felicity crosses the line uh, in more ways they, than one. But storyline wise, though, I, I caught three different storylines going on. Uh, two of them are kind of interconnected with each other, though. But the first one um, was the manhunt for Adrian Chase. Second one is Helix attacking Argus um, to get to um, their to rescue their founder. And then the third one was Renee reuniting with his daughter um, with his daughter. So, based off the first storyline, though, with the manhunt for Adrian Chase, no luck after a week of the whole city trying to find him, um, and the city is getting impatient. They want answers that Mayor Oliver Queen can't give them. Now, storyline number two, though, has Helix attacking Argus, who is holding Caden James, the founder of Felix, um, in um, their... He, they, pretty much they imprisoned him without any trial or anything like that. So um, apparently Kid and James is a dangerous hacker though. And Felix, uh, Felicity um, teams up with Helix because Caden is the one who um, was in the middle of designing a bio tracker, which is what she believes will help them find Adrian Chase. Um, so after Felicity helps um, Helix um, break um, uh, Caden after out of Argus custody, um, Helix goes in the wind. They go underground. Felicity is pretty much um, uh, uh, burned from uh, the operation. Um, but as a reward for her help, um, her, her hacker buddy, I think Elena, um, left the bio tracker um, behind so that Felicity could use it to find Adrian Chase. Now, the third storyline, though, shows that Renee, with the help of Lance, uh, um, Quentin and Lance, uh, Renee actually gets to reunite with his daughter Zoe and he actually starts the process of getting custody of her again after um, seeing her um, um, since that day um, her mom died. And as we know, the first time we heard of Zoe though was apparently two months for them um, as Curtis is the one who brought it up a, a lawyer that could help Renee get his daughter back and then Curtis kind of let it slip to Lance about Zoe so that's how Lance was in the know about him. So anyways, flashbacks. I didn't actually realize there was no flashbacks in this episode until I was actually making the list for this. So there's that right there. But the last moments of the episode show Oliver and Felicity finding Adrian Chance or Adrian Chase with the uh, bio tracker only to realize that he is at the Arrow Cave. And just when they realize this, an explosion goes off um, nearby them. So that's how the episode ends. Now, tidbit wise though, we get Oliver isn't back in the green arrow suit just yet. He's still in the whole black um, cover suit, which I'm enjoying a lot because it definitely hides it definitely hides him a lot better. Although he could use a hat or a hood or something to cover the color of his hair, but um, I'm just saying. Otherwise, we do see problems forming between Diggle and Lila when he discovers that she has crossed the line um, in regards to how she's running Argus, like the illegal imprisonment of the hacker Caden James, um, especially since um, he didn't get a trial or he didn't get the proper uh, treatment that any uh, uh, criminal has the right towards, is what uh, Diggle's main argument is. And Lila argues the fact that it's a lot harder than it is when she's on this side of the, um, of the table, so to speak. So moving on to the most shocking moment of the episode, I have to say the fact that Felicity went against the the arrow team um for as long as she did um so that was surprising um it was just it was surprising and a little disappointing to see her do that i mean after everything that's happened with the team she um she's willing to cross such lines especially now that she has been introduced to helix she's um she's um stepping into some old habits as it were, as her hacktivist self is popping out again. So there's that. Moving on to top three favorite moments, though, for the episode for me. I have to say the first one was Oliver and Diggle being on the same side against their ladies. Um, 
being Violet and Felicity. Um, so it was great to see them, Oliver and Diggle at least, um, forming a firm front with each other in regards to how they were going to handle Helix as well as um, Adrian Chase. Um, so it's just great to see them, the, the, the brotherhood there going strong. Another favorite of mine was seeing uh, Dina Drake, um, aka Tina Bolin, um, kicking ass and uh, taking names, um, not only with the bow staff, but with her canary cry. She's like a mix of the two different canaries. So it was just great to see her kicking ass and all her commentary about it. It was just, it was fantastic. I like her. Um, last favorite moment though was the fact that Captain Lance was trying to set things right between Renee and his daughter Zoe. And then it was just hilari hilarious when Zoe ended up calling Lance Hoss, a name that he's been telling Renee repeatedly not to call him. So that was just a little funny. But it was just great to see Lance um, trying to bring a father-daughter um, together when he can't have that anymore, especially with Laurel. So um, that was great to see. So there's that. Top three P moments though. Um, first one was the fact that Lila withheld information to Team Arrow, especially where when it came to where Caden James was being um, held. Um, she didn't correct the team when they thought um, he was being held at the Argus headquarters. Instead, that left Helix um, open to go attack the Blight Black site he was on. So kind of she delayed. Um, she delayed. Um, help and I don't understand why she would do that why she would think something as top secret as an Argus black site would have been something the hackers uh, organization of hackers couldn't get access to I mean it just didn't make sense so that was an, uh, that was annoying for me and another peeve was the fact that Felicity was following in Oliver's footsteps despite knowing the consequences he's faced for them. I mean, Oliver even brings it up for the fact that Felicity, out of anyone, knows all the troubles and hardships as he, that he has had to deal with because of his actions as, um, as the vigilante and everything that came with it, and yet she's willing to still make those same mistakes as him and be damned the consequences. So it was a little annoying of that, though. So... It doesn't remind me of the Felicity that we were first introduced to, who was trying to get Oliver to um, to do better, to go the better route, to find another way, not to resort to killing of some sort. And yet, she's picking the lesser of two evils instead of finding the one good path, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But it just it was disappointing, like I had mentioned before. So there's that. Moving on to what moment will I remember most when I look back on this episode? Pretty much Felicity crossing the line, her being at odds with the team is going to be a huge reminder for me. So there's that. Random questions though, moving on. Pretty much the only one I had on my mind was the fact that did anyone get the feeling that there was something more between Elena the Hacker and her uh, Helix founder, Caden James? I mean, I kept switching between the fact that they could be um, lovers or that they were family maybe brother and sister, but I kept thinking there was more behind it, behind it between these two than just fellow hackers who were working together. I wonder if anyone else picked up on that vibe. So there's that. Moving on to predictions, though, very quickly. Based off the promo for 520, it looks like an EMP, um, uh, which is a, a electric magnetic pulse, I believe. Um, an EMP explosion in the Arrow Cave leaves Oliver and Felicity trapped and Felicity without the use of her legs. Since again, it is a, a, an implant, an electronic implant that's allowing her to use her legs. And anyways, Team Arrow is trying to get to their friends and it looks like Felicity is begging for Oliver to, to return her after he takes on a severe injury. So it looks like that. Based off the synopsis though, it reads that things get intense when Oliver and Felicity are trapped in the bunker together. Meanwhile, Lila and Diggle deal with their marital issues. So it looks like the issues of the Diggles um, uh, extended in the next episode. Um, and it looks like the explosion from the end of this episode carries on to the next episode. Um, new questions after all of that. Um, well, I'm wondering if this is really the last time we'll see Helix or if we will see them again in Season 6. Uh, I'm... I'm thinking it is because they in this episode they really built up the reputation of Caden James as this dangerously notorious hacker, but we haven't seen what's so spectacular about him, and they they built it up and we never even see his face. So I'm thinking that he will return to wreak havoc. Um, we will actually see who is who plays Caden James hopefully, and we will 
And I think if he does return to wreak havoc, it will lead to Felicity feeling guilty over the fact that she helped break this man out of uh, Argus custody. So I really don't think this is the last we'll see of Helix. I definitely don't think this is the last we've seen of Caden James, especially with all the reputation build that we got for him. So I'm thinking if not for the remaining episodes of this season, then at least the next season, uh, we'll be seeing the return of Caden and his Helix organization. So there is that. But that's about it, guys. So what you guys think of the episode? What you guys like, like about what do you think is going to happen next? Let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear your own thoughts, series predictions about what you think is going to happen next. Also, don't forget to like this video. There's a timer. Like this video, subscribe, um, comment, like, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos if you haven't done so already. Got a little tongue tied there with the timer. Um, and also, um, check out my Tumblr page. The link for that is down below. I reblog promos, web clips, quotes, gifs, synopses, news, all that good stuff, all found in one place. So go check it out if you want uh, a quick stop to find everything on this episode. Um, it's a work in progress. I try to keep it up to date, but it's also connected to my WordPress account, which is still under construction. But everything I post online is connected to my WordPress. Um, so check that out. Uh, follow me there if you want as well. Um, but it's definitely more organized over there. And I believe that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you for your patience. I hope we come back next time to see what I have to say about the next episode. But until then, guys, this is Mel. Wish you all a great day, great week, wherever you are. Bye for now.